Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk to you guys about journaling because it's something that has helped me so much in my life. I think I have been journaling since like middle school, you know, like the typical, you know, have a diary, write about your crush type of thing. Like I, I've done that since I was younger and I wish that I would have kept all of my journals because it's so fun looking back on like my mindset and like what happened in my life during those periods of time. But I have kept some of them. I have um, a few here uh, that I have. One year I did the Passion Planner, which is this one. And I just kind of had like, because you can add so much to the Passion Planner and they have like a note section. And I would just like journal, like print out the note sheet and just like journal and then just stick it in the planner for whatever week that had happened or whatever it may be um but I have kept a lot of them um and some of them I finished some of them I you know took a couple years to finish um so I haven't always been consistent with journaling but it's something that I consistently go back to and I wanted to share with you guys why I love journaling so much and just the benefits that I've noticed from it so the first thing that I really love about journaling and that has helped me significantly is the effects that it has on my mood and my stress levels because I'm an overthinker. I'm constantly in my head. I'm always thinking about something, worrying about something, about the future, about the past, like whatever it may be, girl. I'm a Virgo, okay? We, we worry. So <laughs> um, it has helped so much with my mood and so much with the stress levels and I find it more like more benefits when I'm doing it consistently but at the same time like if I'm you know really stressed out about something like I, I'll just write it out like I will just just dump everything on a piece of paper and I feel such a relief afterwards and it just gets everything from out of my head onto that paper so it doesn't like have that control over me um, because we have so many thoughts throughout our head and a lot of times they're really negative and when you like write it down on a piece of paper, you can like reread it and just be like, whoa, like you can really be like, oh, I didn't even realize that I was having these thoughts so much throughout the day or just like just look back on it and be like, oh, wow, I have a lot of like negative self-talk, you know. So I think it really helps with that. And I notice it more when I'm being consistent with it. But at the end of the day, like if I need to write something down real quick just to release it, like even that just helps a whole lot. Another reason why I really like journaling is because it allows me to self-reflect a lot. Um, right now, with technology and everything, things being so easily accessible to us, we are taking in so much information and not even realizing that maybe it's not ours or maybe it's not really necessarily something that we want. So I really love that journaling allows me to self-reflect about different things. Like I have come to learn so much about myself just because I've taken the time to sit down and be alone and just write my thoughts down to ask myself who am I what do I want what are the type of friends that I want what are my dreams what are my goals what are you know my values like just sitting down and actually like being able to write that down because I feel like we just kind of go through the motions of life just numb and don't even realize like some of the things that we take on aren't really what we think but if you don't like stop to analyze that and like self-reflect on things you really don't know who you are and I actually heard um something it was from the black is king movie that Beyonce did and it was like life without res or someone that doesn't reflect doesn't know themselves something along those lines and it's so true because we just can go on through life just absorbing and taking so many different things from other people not realizing like oh that's not really what I think or that's not really how I feel about this certain situation um so it really allows for self-reflection and I really like that I can go back and just see like my old mindset on things and not only that but you can also gain a lot of clarity on different situations in your life like if you're not sure about something, if you sit down and just like journal about it, I promise you the answers will likely come. And it's another thing that's allowed me to really trust myself and find the answers within myself because I know that when I was younger, I would go ask my friends for advice or what they thought I should do or whatever it may be. 
And I feel like journaling really helped me just kind of trust myself and trust that I know what's best for me and that I have the answers within me and I don't need to go look for external validation for something that I already know deep down what I want to do. I'm just not trusting myself. So I feel like journaling and self-reflecting has really helped me just trust me more. And another really fun reason that I like journaling is because I can go back and read like all of the different events that have happened in my life, all of the different situations that I've been in. Like I really like to go back because I journal a lot about like things that make me excited or happy or whatever it may be. So I really like to see that or like things that I really wanted that seemed so far and out of reach for me to go back and be able to reread those things and just realize like oh my god like I used to want this so bad and now I have it and it's funny because I think about me moving to California as one of them I have this journal specifically I wrote about a job that I used to hate and um I was writing there like I can't wait to move to California like you know everything is temporary like when I'm gonna move there like all of these things I really wanted to move out here and now I can look back and like read it and it's crazy because I think we we forget about our accomplishments and and what we've done with our lives you know because we're just so used to okay what's the next thing what's the next thing what's the next thing and now because I have this journal I can go back and read it and be like oh my god like I wanted this so bad and now I'm here, you know? So I really like to go back and read events too. Like in my planner, um, the passion planner, I have like photos in there. I put paste, uh, not paste up, airline tickets from um, when when I traveled. So I have like a record of all of those in there. And I would write like, oh, today I went to Las Vegas or whatever it may be. Like, um, so that's always really fun to look back on and just like, you know, celebrate those accomplishments that have happened in my life and also just like relive that again and you guys there's so many different ways that you can journal like I'm a pen and paper kind of girl I try doing on my iPad I have like good notes with the paper like um screensaver and the apple pen and it just wasn't doing it for me like I just I didn't feel the same so I I really like a journal but there's so many different ways you can do it like I know there's like super digital people or people that just kind of like to talk things out so like I mean you could do it on your phone like on the notes app or like type it in a google doc um if you like working on your computer or um you know do like a voice memo or uh, record yourself talking like there's so many ways that you can do it just however it is that you like to do it, just do it that way. I will say though, if you do do it like on voice mem- voice memo and um, like a recording, I do recommend re-listening to it just because with like all the other ways you can kind of reread what you just wrote, whereas that one you can't. Um, so I do recommend like going back and listening to those things. Um, like I remember I did a voice, I mean, I did a recording right before I moved to California. It was like, as I was packing up and getting ready to go, like I did like a video because I wanted to go back and remember that moment in my life. Um, but yeah, you guys, there's so many ways that you can do it. And I do want to give a one last tip and that is like, don't hold back. Like this is for you. This is for you to release anything and everything, to record happy moments, to record whatever moment that it is that you want. You know, don't hold back in what you're saying. Don't try to filter your answers. Don't try to be like, oh, I don't want um, uh, to sound this way or like lie to yourself, basically. Just like be you and just release all of it, all the ugly, all the truth, all of you and you will feel so much better because I feel like you're really doing yourself a disservice if you're trying to filter uh, what you're writing or what you're recording from yourself, like you're not being true to yourself. And I know a lot of people probably have like a fear, oh my God, someone's going to read my journal. Like maybe, and if that's the case, you know, like get yourself like a lockbox or like lock the note or um, do it typed up or whatever it may be, or you can write it out and like burn the passages if if that's what you want 
do whatever you got to do to protect your privacy because I know it can be scary for that like I don't really care my fiance is here and I mean I've been journaling the entire time that I've been with him I don't think he cares enough to go through my journal and read some of my stuff that I wrote like for what but um, whatever you got to do to protect that you know I feel you just don't hold back though so whatever you got to do to make sure that you're being authentic and real just do it that way so yeah I just wanted to share with you guys why I really love journaling um, because it really helps me get out of a dark place and when I do it consistently and I'm like checking in with myself and self-reflecting like I feel so much lighter on a day-to-day basis like I know that you guys saw my previous videos or if you did you know about finding out about my dog like so much happened within one month like I literally turned 30 I the next week I found out about my dog and having to care for her and like revive her because she was not doing good um to having all these vet appointments and then going to on vacation that was planned already you know and feeling guilty about that you know, because my dog isn't doing the best and then getting engaged and it's just, and then it was my fiance's birthday. Like it was so much that happened in one month and I didn't take that time to reflect. And so it was like weighing so heavy on me until I finally sat down and you guys, I kid you not, I did the morning pages. And I literally wrote six pages. Like I think I was journaling for one hour. Like I just wrote everything down that was like affecting me and I just felt so much better after. So it really has a lot of benefits. Um, I hope you guys consider journaling. I will be coming out with like um, some, it's like a workbook that I'm working on for my website that kind of helps, you know, ask some questions, but there's also different journaling prompts. You can Google on, uh, on Google if you don't know what to write about, but it makes such a difference, you guys. So I want to know down below, do you guys journal? Have you ever tried journaling? And would you ever consider journaling? Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys uh, this. And um, until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.